What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Monday evening. I'm just getting back home. Got more packing to do. And I just wanted to make this video today to talk about a recent issue that's came up that I want to touch base on. I know it's not very important in the scheme of things, but you know, it's time I have to actually call out a couple of people here. Uh, well, actually one person in particular, and that would be Mark Loebliner. And the reason why I'm going to call him out for it is because recently uh, Mark decided to go after Jerry Ward over the use of proprietary formulas here. Uh, quite frankly, I'm kind of disappointed in that there. The reason being is because, you know, uh, Mark already has a well-established business there. And Jerry Ward just started out his own supplement company. And I find it very asinine of Mark Loebliner to go and attack him in terms of proprietary formulas. And it's a really an argument that doesn't make much sense here. And I'm going to explain why. First and foremost there, uh, Mark, the reason why there are proprietary formulas is simply to protect a formulation that a person has came up with for the sale of their products here. And, you know, that's why there's always been proprietary formulas here. But for you to come down on him so hard for him just starting, and he just started out his own company, leads me to suspect that you're actually wanting the actual formulation to be published so you can go out there and manufacture uh, his products here and make a little bit of profit on it. Shame on you, Mark Loebliner. You know, uh, you know, I think it's kind of dirty of you to actually go out there and try to attack someone just in order to bait them into giving out the actual formulation so you can go out there and manufacture it there. Whether it's true or not, I don't know whatsoever. But, you know, quite frankly, if you're going to attack someone, go attack someone that's actually been established in business, already has their own established supplement company. Uh, but for you, you already have a large company there and you're going to go and attack somebody who just started out their company. You know, you know, normally I don't really take sides and things like this, but, you know, I have to in this particular case, because I think it's just kind of shitty of you to go after Jerry Ward uh, when he just started out his company. Now, in terms of proprietary formulas and cheating and everything, well, why in the world do you actually use fucking Tony the Tiger as your mascot for there? I don't give a damn if you have him playing boom and flexing a muscle. You're copying out on Kellogg's trademark in terms of Tony the Tiger. Did you just start selling fucking cornflakes or something? Huh? Are they frosted? No. Why are you using Tony the Tiger for? You know, people can go after you for that, but, you know, Kellogg's probably doesn't give a shit what you're actually doing there. So before you go and talk about someone's proprietary formulas there, which you know good and well and you've been in the supplement industry long enough, you know good and well as to why there are proprietary formulas for, why in the world, uh, you should be worrying about your own personal business, as such as, number one, again, why do you have Tony the Tiger as your mascot? Number two, what in the hell is going on with your chest and your arms there? Anytime you flex them, they don't even fucking move there. You need to quit shooting Vaseline in those arms and those chests there. You need to just cut it out for a bit. Let let your arms and chest get a little rest so, you know, you can have some sinew of muscle actually displaying up there to make them look, you know, somewhat normal, which I seriously doubt because they they just look like a it looks like two ham hocks there uh, that are glued to your chest there. Basically, the way that it looks like it, it doesn't move around. It doesn't look natural whatsoever. Uh, but in all sense, that's your own personal business. If you want to shoot that goofy goop into your arms and your chest or whatever body part to look better, hey, you go ahead and do so. But in terms of attacking Jerry Ward, who just started out his supplement company, mind you, uh, for a, a simple thing such as proprietary formulas when you've not attacked anyone else that's been established, I mean, that's just a crock of bullshit as far as that's concerned. So you just need to cut this stuff out. You've been in business long enough. You know good and well why there's proprietary formulas. You know, and it doesn't mean that there's some sort of mystique. It's really up to the consumer to decide if a product works or not. And I think people are smart enough to know that if a product doesn't work, it's soon to be reported out there, you know. And in this terms of the digital age and Internet media, stuff like that is going to come out very fast. So, 
you know, quite frankly, don't worry about whether the product works or not. Let the people decide that. But in the meantime, stop attacking brand new companies there and trying to bait them into giving them the formulas so you can go out there and manufacture it for yourself and make a quick buck there. You know, shame on you. You, you ought to know better than that. And that's all I got to say today, folks. You guys take care. Enjoy the rest of your evening.